In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this chapel for the very final stage of Rory's farewell. A simple, short ceremony of committal. I'd like to start by inviting Coral to read to us, Death is Nothing at All. Death is nothing at all. I have only slipped away to the next room. I am I, you are you. Whatever we were to each other, that we still are. Call me by my old familiar name. Speak to me in the easy way which you always used. Put no difference into your tone. By no force else, solemnity or sorrow. Laugh as we always laughed at the little jokes we enjoyed together. Play, smile, think of me. Pray for me. Let my name be ever the household word that it always was. Let it be spoken without effect, without the trace of a shadow on it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same that it ever was. There is absolute unbroken continuity. Why should I be out of mind? Because I am out of sight. I am but waiting for you. For an interval, somewhere very near, just around the corner, all is well. Thank you, Carl. And now Taylor reads to us, to Rory. To Rory. Oh Rory, where to start? I can't believe the time has come for you to part. Your life was full of happiness, laughter and love. Blessed with two special boys, always to love and hug. Memories are something that will stay forever. Where do we get to? Memories are something that will stay forever. From fishing trips, train spotting and football matches, you were always together. Time spent with you was always a pleasure. You, you were the best uncle that I'll ever remember. Embarrassed and mischievous and bubbly. Words can't, can't describe how much an uncle like you brings. A massive part of my childhood memories Mischievous was always created when you were around. Although the end wasn't so bright, you'll always be dearly loved and missed. It's a time to be at peace, Uncle, so goodbye for now. We'll look for you in the starry night. Taylor. And then lastly, some words from the first century. This is St. Paul trying to explain to people who, who just couldn't believe in resurrection, who couldn't believe that this wasn't the end. This is his letter to the Corinthians. This is what he has to say. Someone's going to ask me, well, how are the dead raised? Well, what kind of body do they come? You fool. What you sow does not come to life unless it dies. And as for what you sow, you do not sow the body that is to be, but a bare seed, perhaps of wheat or some other kind of grain. And God gives it a body as he has chosen. And to each kind of seed its own body. Well, so it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable. What is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It's sown a physical body. It's raised a spiritual body. And so we trust it will be for Rory. Will you please stand? At his funeral, we entrusted our brother Rory to God's mercy. And now we commit his body to be cremated. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies 
that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, who was buried, and who rose again. For Rory and for each one of us, to him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with Rory and each one of us, now and always. Amen. Oh, no.